In the grand tapestry of life, our planet has been home to a remarkable array of species. Yet perhaps none are as captivating as the extinct members of our own human family tree. These ancient relatives, lost to the mists of time, offer tantalizing glimpses into our evolutionary journey. For millennia, we believed ourselves to be the sole proprietors of humanity. However, the annals of prehistory tell a different story. Scattered across continents, hidden within caves and buried beneath layers of sediment, lie the remnants of our long-lost kin. These fossilized bones and ancient artifacts whisper tales of lives lived, challenges overcome, and the inexorable march of evolution. They paint a picture of a time when multiple human species coexisted, each adapting to the unique demands of their environments. Join us now as we embark on an extraordinary expedition through time, venturing into the depths of prehistory to uncover the secrets of 10 mysterious extinct human species. Prepare to be astonished by their resilience, their ingenuity, and their lasting impact on our world. Deep within the heart of South Africa, in a cave system known as Rising Star, lies a chamber of profound significance. Here, in this labyrinth of darkness, the remains of an extinct human species lay undisturbed for millennia, waiting to whisper their secrets to the world. In 2013, a team of intrepid explorers, drawn by the allure of the unknown, made an astonishing discovery. Thousands of bone fragments, representing at least 15 individuals, belonging to a species unlike any seen before. This was Homo naledi, a new chapter in the epic saga of human evolution. The discovery of such a large collection of fossils, representing individuals of varying ages, presented a unique opportunity to study the anatomy and lifestyle of this enigmatic species. Homo naledi, it turned out, possessed a curious mosaic of features, some strikingly primitive, others surprisingly modern. Their brains were small, about a third the size of our own, more akin to those of our much earlier ancestors, the Australopithecines. Their teeth, too, were primitive, small and simple in structure, suggesting a diet unlike that of later hominins. And yet, despite these archaic traits, Homo naledi possessed features that hinted at a closer kinship to us. Their hands, with their long, slender fingers and opposable thumbs, were capable of intricate manipulation, suggesting a capacity for tool use. Their feet, too, were remarkably human-like, with arched insteps and big toes aligned with the other digits, adaptations for efficient bipedal locomotion. This unique blend of primitive and derived traits set Homo naledi apart, challenging our understanding of the human family tree. How did this extraordinary species come to be? And why were their remains found in such a remote and inaccessible location? Some scientists speculate that the Rising Star cave system may have served as a deliberate burial ground for Homo naledi, a testament to their burgeoning cognitive abilities, and perhaps even a glimmer of ritualistic behavior. Few extinct human species ignite our imaginations quite like the Neanderthals. Their robust frames and heavy brows, so different from our own, evoke images of a harsh and unforgiving existence, a testament to their remarkable resilience in the face of glacial conditions. Yet, beneath this seemingly rugged exterior lay a species capable of profound intelligence, complex social structures, and even perhaps a flicker of symbolic thought. For over a hundred thousand years, Neanderthals thrived across Europe and parts of Asia, their presence etched into the very fabric of the landscape. Masterful toolmakers, they crafted sophisticated stone implements, from sharp-edged scrapers for preparing hides to delicate blades for butchering game. Evidence suggests they were skilled hunters, capable of taking down large prey, their lives intertwined with the rhythms of the natural world. But Neanderthals were more than just skilled artisans and hunters. They were a species that cared for their sick and injured, as evidenced by healed fractures and evidence of individuals surviving with debilitating conditions. They buried their dead, sometimes with grave goods, hinting at the possibility of rituals and beliefs that transcended the realm of the purely practical. The Neanderthals, it seems, were a species of remarkable adaptability and resilience, capable of thriving in some of the harshest environments our planet has ever seen. Their story is a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit, a reminder that we are but one branch on a vast and intricate evolutionary tree.
High in the Altai Mountains of Siberia, in a cave known as Denisova, lies a treasure trove of ancient secrets. It was here, in 2008, that a team of archaeologists unearthed a tiny fragment of bone, a finger bone to be precise, that would rewrite our understanding of human evolution. This unassuming fragment, belonging to a young girl who lived over 50,000 years ago, held within it the genetic blueprint of a previously unknown human species, the Denisovans. The Denisovans, named after the cave where their remains were first discovered, are a ghost-like presence in the fossil record. Aside from a handful of teeth and bone fragments, their physical appearance remains a tantalizing mystery. Yet, despite their elusive nature, we know more about their genetic makeup than many other extinct human species, thanks to the remarkable preservation of ancient DNA. Genetic analysis of the Denisovan remains has revealed a complex and fascinating story they were more closely related to Neanderthals than to modern humans, sharing a common ancestor that lived hundreds of thousands of years ago. But the Denisovans were not simply a Siberian variant of Neanderthals. Their DNA tells a tale of interbreeding and gene flow between different human lineages, painting a picture of a world far more complex than we ever imagined. The Denisovans, it seems, were part of a vast and interconnected network of ancient human populations their genetic legacy echoing through time and across continents. Their story is a testament to the power of genetics to unlock the secrets of the past and to illuminate the interconnectedness of all life on Earth. And now we travel back in time to a period stretching from almost 2 million to a mere 100,000 years ago, field researcher. It was during this epoch that Homo erectus, the upright man, walked the Earth. A fitting name, for they were indeed pioneers, the first of our ancient relatives to venture beyond the African cradle of humanity. Their journey was an epic one. From the savannas of Africa, they spread across vast distances, colonizing parts of Asia and possibly even Europe. They were adaptable, these ancestors of ours, braving a variety of challenging environments, from the sweltering tropics to the cooler temperate zones. Field researcher, how did they achieve this remarkable feat of dispersal? The answer, it seems, lies partly in their physique. Taller and more slender than their predecessors, Homo erectus possessed a more modern human-like body plan, better suited to long-distance travel. Their long legs, narrow hips, and arched feet made them efficient walkers and runners, allowing them to cover greater distances in pursuit of food and resources. But it was their mastery of fire, arguably, that truly set them apart. Field researcher, the ability to control this powerful element provided warmth in colder climates, protection from predators, and a means to cook food, unlocking a broader range of nutrients. This mastery of fire, coupled with their sophisticated tool use, marked a turning point in human evolution, paving the way for the emergence of later hominins, including our own species. Our journey through the annals of human evolution now leads us to Homo habilis, the handyman, a species that lived in the heart of Africa between 2.4 and 1.65 million years ago. Anthropologist, their name bestowed upon them due to their remarkable tool-making abilities, hints at the pivotal role they played in shaping the trajectory of our lineage. Picture the African savannas of this ancient time. The climate is changing, becoming drier and more seasonal. Forests are receding, giving way to open grasslands. It is within this dynamic environment that we find Homo habilis, adapting to the challenges and opportunities presented by a changing world. Anthropologist, smaller in stature than their Homo erectus descendants, with shorter legs and longer arms, Homo habilis still exhibited a significant leap in brain size compared to their Australopithecine ancestors. This increase in cranial capacity, though seemingly modest, is thought to underpin their advanced cognitive abilities, particularly in the realm of toolmaking. The tools of Homo habilis, though simpler than the later Aculean tools of Homo erectus, represent a significant technological leap. Our exploration of extinct human species now brings us face to face with one of the most enigmatic members of our family tree, Homo rudolfensis. Archaeologists discovered on the shores of Lake Turkana in Kenya, their fossil remains dating back some 1.9 million years have sparked intense debate and fueled scientific curiosity for decades. The discovery of a single, 
remarkably complete skull in 1972 offered the first tantalizing glimpse into this ancient hominin. Larger and more robust than contemporary Homo habilis fossils with a flatter face and larger brain case, it hinted at a greater diversity within the Homo genus than previously imagined. Archaeologist. However, the scarcity of fossil evidence has made it challenging to definitively place Homo rudolfensis within the human lineage. Were they a separate species altogether, a distinct branch on our evolutionary tree? Or might they represent a variation within the already known Homo habilis species, their differences a matter of individual or regional variation, rather than a distinct evolutionary path? Adding to the intrigue surrounding Homo rudolfensis is the lack of definitive evidence linking them to a specific tool industry. While some researchers believe they may have been responsible for some of the old Owen tools found in the same geographical area and time frame, conclusive evidence remains elusive. In the intricate tapestry of human evolution, Homo antecessor stands as a pivotal figure a species that takes us back over a million years to the Pleistocene epoch. Historian discovered in the caves of Atapuerca, Spain, the fossilized remains of Homo antecessor whisper tales of a bygone era, offering tantalizing clues to our own origins. Imagine a landscape vastly different from the world we know today, a time when saber-toothed cats and giant hyenas roamed the European continent. Historian, it was in this environment that Homo antecessor thrived their presence marked by the tools they crafted and the bones they left behind. Their features, a mosaic of primitive and modern traits, hint at their place in our evolutionary lineage. Historian, the prominent brow ridges and flat face are reminiscent of earlier hominins, while the structure of their teeth and jaws foreshadows the development of our own species. The discovery of Homo antecessor has sent ripples through the scientific community, challenging long-held beliefs about the course of human evolution. Historian, their presence in Europe at such an early date suggests that our ancestors' journey out of Africa may have been more complex than previously thought. Our journey through the annals of human evolution takes us to the verdant landscapes of southern China, where, in the depths of the Red Deer Cave, a remarkable discovery has come to light. Geneticist. Here, the remains of an ancient people, shrouded in mystery, have emerged from the mists of time, challenging our understanding of human diversity. Dating back a mere 14,500 to 11,500 years, the Red Deer Cave people lived at a time when modern humans were already well-established across much of the globe. Geneticist. Yet these enigmatic people possessed a unique combination of features that set them apart from any other known human species. Their skulls, a curious blend of archaic and modern traits have sparked intense debate among scientists. Geneticists, the low broad craniums, receding foreheads and prominent brow ridges are reminiscent of much earlier hominins, while their flat faces and smaller teeth exhibit a more modern appearance. This unusual combination of features has led some researchers to propose that the Red Deer Cave people may represent a previously unknown species of human one that coexisted alongside modern humans until surprisingly recently. From the towering giants of Homo heidelbergensis to the diminutive inhabitants of Flores, we have explored the remarkable diversity of our extinct human relatives. Each species, a unique thread in the intricate tapestry of human evolution, offers a glimpse into the challenges our ancestors faced and the remarkable adaptations they developed as they journeyed across the globe. But the story of human evolution is far from over. New discoveries are constantly being made, challenging our assumptions and enriching our understanding of our place in the natural world. What mysteries remain hidden in the fossil record, waiting to be unearthed? What new insights will future generations glean from the bones of our ancestors? Join the conversation. Share your thoughts on these fascinating extinct human species in the comments below. And if you're eager to delve deeper into the wonders of the natural world, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest explorations. Your support through views, likes, comments, and shares helps us bring these extraordinary stories to life. And for those who wish to contribute a little extra, consider supporting us through our Buy Me A Coffee program. Every little bit helps fuel our passion for sharing the wonders of our planet. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through time.
Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep marveling at the extraordinary story of life on Earth.